Yes, um, Nicolas here once again with a short video on the basic features of independence. Uh, this free sampler, which is developed by Magix, uh, you can download the sampler from this website. I'll put the link when I post the video. Uh, and you can either download it for Windows or Mac, it's totally free. And they also offer a two gigabyte free sample library. So don't forget to download that. Uh, I think it's pretty good. Also, so when you click on, on the link, it's gonna open a new tab and it's just gonna ask you to follow the instructions. I'm not a robot, start downloading and it should be straightforward. The file is a little bit heavy, it's like 300 megabytes, but that's okay. So once you download independence, a uh, couple of things, um, to consider. So with this plugin, you, uh, unfortunately the plugin doesn't uh, assign the, your MIDI keyboard automatically. So you have to do it manually. So you go to independence, MIDI preferences, and always make sure that you assign your keyboard. Otherwise, the only way that you could work with it, with the sampler is with the keys on the screen, but no with, from your actual keyboard. And also don't forget to assign the audio, in the audio preferences, your interface. For now, I'm using the Zoom because I'm recording this video, this video through Zoom. Okay. Um, and another reminder is that uh, when you have multiple uh, MIDI instruments, don't forget always to in the port, just select all just in case. Sometimes if you don't have an, if you have an one or two, uh, your keyboard might not work. So just put all. Now, the basic stuff. How can I down, uh, upload a sample, an audio file onto independence? So first of all, independence works with um, projects instead of uh, sessions or instruments. They, they don't call it in that way, but they call it as a project. Each project has uh, sets of layers. You can have up to 16 sets of layers and each set of layer can hold up to 32 empty layers. So that's a lot of possibilities. It's like having 512 different sounds on one project. So, so we have layer set A and how I can how can I download, uh, upload a, 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 a file? So we go here to the layer, go to options, and we can either import audio files with this way, and then just go to your preferred audio file that you have ready to upload, or basically just locate it and just drag it. So for example, right now I have here one sample. I just need to drag it and drop it on the, in this section. Then it's gonna ask me, oops, if I wanted to um, multi-key chromatic, usually chromatic will do it. My root key is gonna be C1. And for now, I don't need this one. This is the, the default. Every time that you open a new project, it's gonna upload a, a piano. So I don't need this one. I'm gonna remove this. So I'm gonna stay with the new sample. And we can see that there is something here on the keyboard in C1. So this is my sample. So if I want to see where that where the, the sample is, I go to mapping. And now I can see that the sample is located in C1. So this is these are the zones. We can have multiple sounds in one layer. So for example, if I want to copy that sound to C2, I can just hold um, on Mac, uh, hold the option uh, key, and then go to the, and just drag it, for example, to C2. And then we will have the same sample in two different keys. For now, I'm going to focus on one. So I'll just remove this one. Okay, so I need to make sure that I have this selected and so I can see uh, here the audio region. This is a cool feature that, for example, the ESX24 doesn't have. Uh, if you want to edit the audio region, you can actually do it from here and you don't have to take it separately in the audio editor and uh, edit the fade-ins or the fade-outs or 
crop the, 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 the audio region. So you can do it actually here. So for example, this is the whole sample. And then it's gonna repeat. So let's say that I don't want to start, or I wanna start there, but I want to shorten this this sample. So there are two markers, one that determines the, the starting point and the other is the ending, these yellow markers. So if I go here, let's play it again. And that's it. So this is gonna determine where to start and where to end. I can zoom in, zoom out the audio region if, if I wanna be more precise. And also uh, the samples, the, the zones, you can, for example, assign multiple keys. So for example, from one octave, from C1 to C2, I can have the same sample. I just need to click on the, re on the sample and just drag it. So now I'm gonna have the same sample playing from C1 to C2. A cool thing about uh, independence is that you can also, or generally with, with any sampler, you can create, uh, for example, first of all, you can reverse the note. So for example, when I hit a key, I can play it in a reverse mode. I can also, so I need to select this reverse here. Also, I can play it as one shot. So regardless that if you hold, if you uh, hold the key or just play and release, it's gonna play the whole sample. I don't need to have this held for the whole time. Also, you can determine if you want the sample, if you don't want to follow the pitch, you can um, click on the track tracking. So it's gonna play always the same pitch. Let's just go back to sample. So all these keys are playing the same pitch if I, answer, uh, if I don't have selected the, tra the tracking. Now, back to the looping. So I can go here to sample and select loop forward. That's gonna create a new marker in green color. So this green, this green marker is gonna determine where to start and where to end, but it also is gonna repeat the whole thing. So right now I only see one green marker because the other green marker is at the end of the whole audio file. So I need to zoom out and see it here. Now, if I wanna loop this section, I just need to hold the key and it's gonna be looping constantly until I release the note. So if I wanna start from the middle, from here, I need to move the yellow marker too. Also, I can do loop forward and backward. So it's gonna play uh, the whole, the only the section that I want to repeat, but it's gonna reverse. So it's gonna go back. That's also a cool effect. And I can also use the last note. So once, so I click on the key, and once I release the, the key, it's gonna play the sample. Let's go back to sample and let's work for a second uh, on a feature that is very important. So independence has a built-in uh, envelope, ADSR. It's actually not an SDSR, but AHDSR. 
So it has an attack, hold, decay, sustain, and release. So for example, if I play my, my, my sample here, in the beginning, you can maybe hear um, a little click. I can get rid of that just by working on my attack in order to make it more, uh, smoother. And now I don't have that annoying click. In the same way, I can work with a release and maybe make a longer release. So that's, that's a cool feature from uh, the modules. So you locate the ADSR on the modules tab. Finally, if you want to, you know, dig a little bit more on the sampler, uh, this sampler also has, uh, offers uh, insert effects. So you can have like a different bunch of uh, different effects, like EQs, filters, uh, compressors, modulation. So for example, let me, Play some ring modulator here. Also, I can have some, let's see, distortion. <laughs> So this is a good way of manipulating your original sampler and make something different from it. Make your own sound. Remember that this is a sound design class. The idea is to create your own sounds and not copy. I mean, is there's nothing wrong in copying sometimes, but it's cool when you actually work on your sounds and you have your own material. material. So think about that. You can do many things here, adding effects, playing with the ADSR. Uh, reverse in the, the samples, again, go to mapping and hit reverse. Finally, if you want to save this, you can save it as a project. So I go here to new project and save it as, and just give the name. Automatically it's gonna be saved in the projects folder inside the independence folder. And once you want to open again, uh, unfortunately, if you go to the independence folder and click on the project, for example, I have a, a few projects here safe, it's not gonna open from there. You have to actually go to independence. So let me just save this quickly. Save test four. Now let's open a new project. Test one. So let's go back. If I want, if I want to go and open the project that I was working on, I just have to go to here and project, and then I'll, I'll be able to uh, locate the project easily. You can also save layers, just one layer. That would be like only one sample, and save it in the layers uh, folder that is located inside independence. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, there are more features, of course, you can, uh, dun, dun. for example, you can play with the velocity range, the key range here, which is the same of doing this. You can do it here, change it out to, uh, manually. You can change the root key, which is basically the key that determines what, where to start, what, where the original sampler is gonna play. Uh, you can change volume, you can pan, you can change the pitch. I wouldn't mess around a little uh, with this because then it, uh, it's gonna mess with the whole pitch of the, of the, of the sample. Um, and then on the left side, you can do the same things here. I hope you found this useful and see you next time.